everyone, Miss Manny here again. Today's story is The Dinosaur Who Lost His Roar. And this book is written by Russell Punter and Andy Elkerton. Deep inside the forest lived a dinosaur named Sid. He always got in trouble for the noisy things he did. Spike was picking berries. Sid crept up like a cat. He let out such a mighty roar that Spike got covered. Splat. Oh dear. That wasn't funny, Sid, growled Spike. The juice went in my eyes. Enjoy your breakfast, Sid replied. Who else can I surprise? Ross was standing by the pool to see what he could catch. When Sid let out a mighty roar, poor Ross went tumbling. Splash! I hope you liked your swim, Ross. You'll dry out in the end. Sid saw Ellie hunting eggs. He sneaked behind her back. He let out such a mighty roar. The eggs went flying. Crack! Luke ones ended up on her head. An excellent surprise, laughed Sid. You just can't beat my roar. But when he went to bed that night, his throat felt rough and sore. The next day Sid saw Spike again and went to play his joke. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a croak. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Ross was balanced on a rock. Sid went to scare him off. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a cough. <coughs> ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid tiptoed up to Ellie, but struggle though he might, no roar would come out, just a rasp. His th throat felt oh so tight. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid went a whole week getting well with honey and sweet tea. Oh, I wish I hadn't played those tricks. Now the joke's on me. Soon felt, Sid felt fit to see his friends. I'll show them I'm not mean. But when he reached the berry bush, Spike could not be seen. I wonder where he could be. Ross was missing from his pool. Sid sensed things that weren't right. He spotted scary footprints and they gave him quite a fright. Sid was getting worried. What would he come to next? Then came a shock beyond a rock. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex! Sid hoped he had his voice back, but how could he be sure? He took the most enormous breath <gasps> and gave a mighty roar. Given the T-Rex a fright. The T-Rex headed for the hills. Sid's pals were safe once more. Three che cheers for Sid the hero. You're the greatest dinosaur. And that's the end of our story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you all again tomorrow. Bye.